first one is ddl commands data definition language what is the use of ddl commands is used to create or change or delete the database objects okay and what are the commands we are having is create p alter and c <coughs> drop okay we will discuss about each command later hello yeah yeah okay so dml commands data manipulation language language commands what are the command what is the use use to enter new data or update old data or delete unwanted data okay what are the list of commands we are having is first one insert and second one update and third one delete and third type of commands are dcl commands data control language data control language commands what is the use of data control language is used to provide or cancel permissions on the database objects what are the commands you are having is grant and b is revoke <coughs> and here i'm maintaining as a note these commands are used by dba only dba even if you want to use these commands you should be logged on to oracle as a dba yeah and fourth one is tcl commands transaction control language language commands so what is the use use it to save or cancel user transactions the commands are commit and roll back and save point yes okay <coughs> apart from the different types of commands you are having a special command is there so what is that command is select used to display required data from the request tables required data from the specified tables okay yeah this is the theoretical part and as a fresh guy we don't know how to create the table first i want to create some table to maintain i have the employees are there 
I want to store those employee information in the form of table. How it is? Yeah. Create a table. <coughs> what is the first DDL command we are having? Yes. DDL command we are using is create. What is the use of create? Use it to create any database object, not only table, any database object like table, view, index, uh, synonym, sequence. Uh, procedure, functions, locks or triggers, all these things are known as database objects. If you want to create any one of these objects, use create command only. Okay. So in our syllabus, each and every one we will discuss all objects. Okay, now how to create a table? Syntax. Create table, table name. The table is containing set of columns, am I right? Column names must be specified within parentheses column 1, data type and corresponding size, comma, column 2, data type, corresponding size. So you can specify any number of your required column names and close the parenthesis, use semicolon. Why? Because each query is terminated with semicolon. Okay, now. So, first let me write the example. Create a table EMP with columns ENO, ename, salary, designation, department number. J date. Totally six columns are there. And the query is create table. What is the table name? EMP. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And call first column name is ENO. What is the data type? So number of three I am considering. Next E name. Worker two of twenty. Sal, number of 7 comma 2, I will give you what is the data type and all these things, no need to worry, salary and designation, worker 2 of 20 again and department number, it's a number of 3 and J date is date type of data, completed. Okay, then here we are having the table name is EMP and the column names are ENO, ENAME, SAL, designation, department number and J date. Okay, I am creating the first table. So can I specify a table, table name like <coughs> a table name like one underscore EMP and column names like 1.1, 1.2 and so on. Can I specify like this or not? So the answer is no. Mm -hmm. Yes, <coughs> answer is no. 
why because if you want to specify the oracle names means the table names or any object names and their property names we have to follow the following rules so that is naming conventions so what is the naming convention means before specifying a oracle name we have to follow below rules what are they first one each name must begins with an alphabetic character alphabetic character first point okay second point is valid character set set is small a to z capital a to z 0 to 9 and at the rate cash dollar and underscore not hyphen underscore so you can use any characters to specify the names but the first character of the name must be alphabetic mm -hmm. character yeah third one is <coughs> names or not case sensitive and fourth one is already existed names or not allowed and fifth one is predefined keywords or not allowed keywords or not allowed as names and sixth one is blank spaces within a name or not allowed these are the rules and regulations we have to follow before specify a name fine and next one is uh, okay we know the naming convention that's fine then what is meant by this one number of 3 worker 2 of 20 number of 7 comma 2 worker 2 of 20 these are known as data types just a moment okay <clears throat> so now what are the valid data types in your oracle data types in oracle what is a data type yeah see here uh, yeah for example here i'm considering example what is the table name you are having emp okay eno e name sal uh designation department number j date join date so here you are having one e name is a o oh. the name is a and salary is 12000 designation developer department number 10 joint date is 11th of john 09 okay so first column is containing number type of data second column is containing character type of data third column is containing number type of data and fourth column is containing character type of data 
since the column is containing number type of data and last column is containing date type of data so different columns are containing different types of data okay whenever i am creating a table i have to specify in this table this column contains so and so type of data in future you have to specify like that how it is means by using a data type yeah it represents the type of the data data to be stored under the column okay yeah what are the valid data types in your oracle <coughs> first one is yeah character of